right, Jake Phelps here. Um, out here with my buddy Rob, and um, I'm gonna go ahead and show how I bait up. Um, I came out here, and I only brought the um, the basket that everything's in, so I don't have another basket to pull in through. You know, it's an accident, but um, luckily I know a little trick, so I don't have to pull all this out into the freaking ground and then pull it all back in. So we'll um, we'll go ahead and see if. Uh, See if um see if I can pull this off or not. And that's how you do that. Alright, to get this started, like I said, generally this would be another um another you know another barrel or something. And this line, it's um it's like uh like a thousand foot or something like that I use these kinds of clips the brass and what I do is I take them you know this is supposed to be connected right there but I take it and I bring it down a little bit and I snap it back in and you'll see when I'm laying the line out why I have that extra play there and I flip it around Keep it in the edge of the barrel like that. And I start pulling line in. I like big heavy chains. You know, sometimes things happen and I just have to do other things, but I generally like to have a nice heavy chain on each end. And I use about, um, you want to try to use between 40 and 50 foot between your clip and your chain. And then at the beginning of the line, what I like to do, I like to go like 7 foot or something. But on the first bait, right after the chain or before the chain, I like to do a little bit more than that. Like, 10 foot or something just because generally there and since I don't use snoozes the line will be real slack so you know and these are uh, these already have bait in them so I use a special knot to keep the to keep everything on there and I'll show the you know the way to make this knot on the next uh, on the next one And I'm crabbing over there so I can throw this old bait over here. So like four clams in. Smash them. Not smash them, but just tap them up against something. Put it in there. And then tighten her up. And I'll go ahead and explain how to um, to do that knot on this one. And let me show the spacing. This is how I do my spacing. Everybody's preferences are different, but this is what I do. In my head, I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then, you know, a little bit more, and then boom. That one's a little wider than I usually like. All right, here's how I do these knots. They're real easy to get undone. All you do Usually all you do is pull them and they'll come undone. But I've been using these same knots for a while, so they're kind of the rope's memory has kind of, you know, gotten attached to it as you can tell. And I use saw flay. I think it's 5 16 I've had this line for 10 years, use it every year, and I mean it's got breaks in it, you know, this is just what I like to use. And this is how I do the knot, put two fingers there, flip it around, and then just feed it back through. And see, when it's, a, when it's new, you know, boom, 
it's real easy to get undone. Again, and that's it. And I see people do, you know, stuff like that and put stuff in between, but um, you know, I don't really, I don't really like to do it like that. So that's uh, more or less how I do it. Um, I'll be back in a bit. Um, for you, it'll only be a second, but I got to bait this line up and uh, show you how I lay these things out. All right, drone flight. Drone over troubled water. All in now. That? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, got the line baited, got everything in this basket. I dumped it out earlier. I'm gonna go ahead and do a uh, a quick rundown on how I do these buoys. All right. This is what they look like. This is what I use. I do a bowling knot right here. I got a bowling knot on the anchor. That's the kind of anchor I use right there. About 15 pounds, all I use. A little bit light, but um, you know I'm in pretty shoal water, so it's okay. And this is how I wrap it up. Hold it right here like this. Keep tension on it. This is very important. It um, just makes laying the line out easier, as you'll see, ever so, uh, ever so directly. And then, see now I got my overhang. That's why I did the extra loop right there. And this anchor is a little heavier. I actually want this to go out last, just because of where I have my line. I think this one's like 18 pounds and that one's like 15 but I didn't do that for any specific reason it's just kind of what I had now I just take this clip it there kind of look at you know what I got going on there and this is the last anchor I'm gonna throw out and this is the first one I got my clip right on top. Put it right there like that. And that's how I prep my line to get thrown into the water.
That's why I don't want to. Here's how you get a crab with your bare hands.
Alright, this is Rob's first go at it. Caught that monster. Now Rob's gonna run her. There's a butte. Yeah, that's not which way to turn that boat. 